Uh, okay, well, Benny Boy here asks a rather salient question. I know Andy and lying, but who are the other people? Yeah, who the f are you? <laughs> who am I? Nice sense I can't that. remember! Who am I? Uh. So, well, uh, we have the 8-bit monkey from the channel, the 8-bit monkey. Hey. <laughs> and you will gen, if you have remotely, even peripherally heard of him, you'll have heard of him <laughs> a lot, because he puts out a lot of stuff as tweets are made. Yes. <laughs> uh, we also have Lil Cat from Lil Cat's World, who is part of the uh, World of Madness server. And we have Elliot, also known as Muffins for Men. Hello! <laughs> so he makes a lot of muffins for the men. Mm -hmm. I do. I all love friends making friends all know each other. <laughs> all accept. Accept us. Please accept, accept us. No, I mean, we accept each other. It's it's hard. <laughs> You have Why? to. <laughs> Who are we? <laughs> Who am I? I love that movie. A bit monkey is Octopus Prime. <laughs> <Yes, he> is. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, if you think about it, that's how it could start. It could. <laughs> Transformers, monkeys Transformers. in disguise. Monkeys in a bit. So, Ben, I know you're watching. What's about to happen <laughs> is the intro section for an animation if you're going to do that again. Oh, uh, well. Sitting against the horizon in the frozen wastes of the most northern lands of Erebun, the walled city of Edgekirk was founded in ancient times by persons unknown, though justifiably rumoured to be magical, and enchanted to stave off the frigid chills of the native Antarctic environment. Beyond the walls, Edgekirk sits within some of the harshest winds and coldest snows in the realm. Within, the cities are, in stark contrast, perpetually as warm and drafty as a calm summer afternoon. Though several foreign nations have tried valiantly to do so, Edgekirk's location has made it effectively impenetrable to military forces, though a slow trickle of travellers, traders and refugees does make its way through its gates on a regular basis. Most who enter them rarely leave, such is the comfort of the city, and such is the inclement <clears throat> conditions outside of it. Until last month. Within the sewers, workers have begun to discover the grisly remains of a series of unfortunates, struck down by what gossip is already calling the sewer troll, though no eyewitness report is known of the beast. Panic is beginning to spread throughout the populace, and the ruling Lord Montague has issued a decree that the city gates be sealed and the guard be placed on high alert. Bounties are being displayed on notice boards on the streets for any who can offer information on the culprit or failing that, their corpse. Enticed by the mystery, the bounty, and or the potential glee of the citizens and favour of Lord Montague, a ragtag group has formed in one of the many taverns in Edgekirk to set <clears throat> out and solve the mystery of the sewer troll. You, lucky four, are that ragtag group. Yay. And so once again, in this place familiar yet strange, I bid thee welcome, adventurers, to this tale of dungeons and dragon hats. I've never been so excited before. Come <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> on! Oh. <laughs> to the G, I cannot believe that. Oh, <laughs> Coats and these balls. Well, we're standing in a tavern, which is a. Uh, Honey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want, just because I want to know. So who took note? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't I, think it. Was. I did, <laughs> up, but I was too engrossed in the story going. It's, it's, almost, it's almost a mirror entity of exactly the last time. Ah, yeah, and send us the notes. <laughs> we have arrived, and we shall take your loot. Right, well, let's begin on introductions, then. The leather-clad form of an urban ranger sits in recline at a table in the shadowed back of the dilapidated Grugtooth pub. Hidden in the twisting streets of South Edgekirk, the pub is crowded with barely enough room between patrons to move. Not to suggest that Grugtooth is renowned for its quality ales or agreeable service, but because the Lord's Crier has only recently departed, following a detailed proclamation of the bounty resting upon the sewer troll. The ranger tilts his head up momentarily to scan the crowd, whereupon he notices that two things have happened. The first, and most obvious, is an apparent disagreement between an oafish dwarf carrying a scimitar and what might be mistaken for a walking barrel proclaiming the virtues of St. Cuthbert. 
and the second, and only slightly less obvious, being the hulking form of a man in full plate armor that has walked without pause in his plodding route towards the ranger's table. <laughs> oh, so who goes? Who wants to go first then? That reminds me. Uh, so if, <clears throat> uh, by the way, the uh, companion's name is Eve. By the way, I don't right? Think I, I nice. Don't think I ever said that through to you. You did not. No. Okay. Well, that's the case anyway. Uh huh. Right. <clears throat> okay, so sitting at so I'm just sitting at the table and I know just uh who is it that I know just coming towards me again? Uh this is a towering man in full plate armor. Right. Okay, let me just quickly check. Okay, so we'll say that I'm in quite yeah, he's he's in the recline position, we'll say. <clears throat> so he uh, he just just looks up and just uh, makes attention. Can I roll a, so a, perce um, a perception to see if I notice anything? <laughs> actually, no. Sorry, can I roll sense of mo a sense motive actually to see, you know, if he's coming at me, you know, angrily or if, he's, if, if violence is intended? <clears throat> yes, you may. Let me check what my sense motive is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Team. Okay, well, uh, it's difficult to make out precisely what he intends from behind the full plate helmet, as you are quite familiar with any. Um, <laughs> but you are able to determine that he probably means business, if not violence. Business in front of violence, the same thing then. <laughs> right. Okay, well, he sits up from his recline position then. <laughs> Uh, leans back, and I'm actually at the point. Is uh, is my companion with me, or have I had to leave her out? Uh, she is beside you. Okay. Well, he uh, he gets up from his reclined position a little bit, still back in his chair, and just p sort of puts his hand down and just wakes up uh, wakes up Eve, just brings her to her attention a little bit more, and I just wait for him to approach, keeping my eye on him. Okay. Elliot, I believe that's your move. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Hello, sir. How are you today? Uh, we just looked up, obviously, you know, it's sort of a pondering look. This is uh, just enjoying a night out. I've been sent here on request from my master. I believe you are looking for more to join you in a party. And who would that be? The great sorcerer, Armeudro. Would I know this person, or...? You do not know him, but he knows of you. No, no, I meant... Oh, sorry, I should point out. No, <laughs> line, line, would, I, would I know this person? No, that, that actually works quite well. <laughs> oh, okay. So what was it you said? You don't know him, but he knows of you. Hmm. I'm but a, I'm but a simple ranger who... Why would he have needed me? He wishes to form a party, to gain the bounty on the uh, on the beast that leaves in the sewer's heads. Ah, yes. yeah, I've seen those around. Yes, he feels that he might need some help. And as such, he has sent me, his noble squire, to construct a party. And I feel that you may be one of the people that we are looking for. Hmm. He ponders and thinks for a while. And uh, he's qu he quickly scans around to see if he can notice um, like anybody paying attention to this. In fact, actually, can I do that? Just roll a roll of perception. Can I notice see if anybody's... Yeah. Uh, Nineteen. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you. Uh, you make a detailed view of the of the surrounding crowds, and it looks like more or less everyone is just going about their business. There's a, one or two brawls coming along, including the dwarf and the small okay. tin can. Um, but more or less, everyone's just paying attention to their own business. Okay. So, okay, so um, after he just sort of scans around just to see if anyone else is paying attention, looks back up at this uh, metal-clad person in front of him. This is, uh... Well, I'm always, make, I'm always looking to make a little bit of extra bounty. Fantastic. Now, my master has told me that if we stay in this tavern, 
we shall find the people we are looking for. He has given me a small dossier of people we may be wanting to look out for. Some of whom we may not want to take with us, some of whom we may. I hope you will stand fast and stead and stead with me. <clears throat> it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Baldrick. I am Victor's good sir. And he uh, puts his hand forward and grasps it tightly. Yeah, Baldrick clasps it in his massive hulking hand and shakes it quite firmly. He shakes it and smirks a little bit and says, uh, "So who's the who makes the final decision then? Your master, or who who attends?" Well, my master is a busy man with lots of affairs. However, he feels that if he did make a party, it would have to be a joint venture. No people will follow blindly a man they have never met, he says. I still believe that most people should follow my master, as he is a very wise and powerful sorcerer. But, as is with his wiseness and sorcerfulness, he does say that uh, it should be a joint venture. Okay. He's a nice man, my master. <laughs> He's a brave man. Beautiful man. <laughs> Victor uh, sits up a little bit more and says, uh, I'd like to meet this master of yours at one point. You, uh, you sing his praises. You shall meet him soon, you shall. Unfortunately, he is quite tied up in busy affairs at the moment. Not affairs of uh, that kind of nature, but affairs of a more business-like nature. I do apologise for misunderstanding. <laughs> no, of course. It, it, uh, he's he sniggers a bit and just uh, <laughs> and looks looks back down at Eve and says, uh, "Oh, she'll be coming as well." Oh yes. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Now at, what's this one, eh? At this point, you you see quite um, you see a, a uh, actually how tall is she? Uh, let me have a quick look. I've got I've got it up. I'll have a look. You have a look. Where is it? There it is. All right, so it's a medium, medium animal. I'm just gonna be, how, how tall would you say a medium animal is lying? Human. Sorry, <laughs> human. What, human tall, as in on all four haunches, or <laughs> human for in body length. <clears throat> Right, okay, so... Right, anyway, like it's a wolf, basically. Yeah, it's, yeah, about a, it's a wolf, so... Foot and a half, two feet tall. Okay, so yeah, you see that... You see from the wolf. paw to shoulder. Yeah, so you see her anyway. Jesus Christ, is that being tame? <laughs> Says the hulking guy in full plate armour. Baldrick <laughs> <laughs> is a large man by stature, but timid in nature, unless he is brought into combat. <laughs> He chuckles again and just strokes, strokes and says, She's no danger to you. Is she a danger to others? If I so command, yes. Well, we have mighty need for dangerous things at command. That's what my master says he has need for me. <laughs> okay. Um, so, anyway, Victus is still there just stroking Eve and says, Well, if you want to fetch those other ones and... Uh, I'll be here waiting. Well, I fear that the best way to proceed from now would be to get a few points down with us, sit around this table, make a merry old time, and wait for them to approach us. You see, with two people such as ourselves here, people will be drawn to the smell of adventure. Hmm, it's not the usual way I'm used to working, but uh, if you if you believe so. Well, I'll get in the first round. Baldrick bustles off to get some points. The crowd clears ahead of him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to being the, not being the tin can. Yeah, although we've got two this time. And on that note, uh, Monkey, you were just casually enjoying your your drink in the uh, in the grog tooth, and then just as the proclamations were finishing with regards to the Lord's Choir, uh, a small pint-sized little thing covered in armour has walked up to you and begin espousing the natures and virtues of Saint Cuthbert. Evidently, she has taken displeasure with your with the uh, volume of your drink. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I don't know what to. I guess it's Mikashi's trying to say something. Either one. Uh, I don't know what to say. Have you got a problem with my drink? (laughs) 
If you could see past the helmet, I think the tin can might look flustered. Wow. <laughs> 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 I got deaf. I said we got a problem with my drink. Actually, yes, I do. What would be the problem? I think you might be drinking a bit too much there. And who are you to say I'm drinking too much? <laughs> well, if uh, monkey, could you roll a spot check? Roll what, sir? Spot check. Uh, you'll find it on your character sheet to the left of spells. Spell spot check. Fine. Uh, I've got a 13 there, and a 4 there, and a 9. What am I using? What am I doing? Uh, 1d20 plus 13. 1d20 plus 13. Got a dice thing out and roll. Um, uh, yep, there is. Just type in a slash roll into the, into the uh, roll 20. Oh, slash roll. It's not working. Slash roll, roll space. Oh. What does he need to roll? 1d20 plus 13. Okay, so slash That's roll, 13. slash huh. roll, spa actually I'll just type it out. <laughs> what was it? And it'll just do the rolling for everybody. No, 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 I can't, roll, no I can't roll for you. 1d20 plus, what was it? 13. Okay, so you type that. I think I managed it. Yes. There you Hooray, go. <laughs> 27. Okay, well, you eye up the small tin can with as much uh, acuity as your current alcohol level would allow you, and you're able to discerning that quite probably this is a paladin. <clears throat> uh, judging by the armaments and the significant volume of holy water that you can find about their person, uh, quite probably this is a paladin specifically of Saint Cuthbert, the god of retribution and justice. You also managed to determine this is probably female, although the bulk of the armor would not particularly discern this, and you can tell with distinct ringing from the helmets that it is indeed a female half-elf. So what do you want from me? The tin can spends a moment in contemplation. There's many tin cans around here. <laughs> yeah, there is a quite a few tin cans. Isn't there? It's like a chattering band going on. <laughs> Why need to get a can opener? <laughs> it's like the Blue Man group. We have those. They're called rust monsters. <laughs> I love my goblet is like a desperate Dan mug. <laughs> you being the dwarf. <laughs> Desperate Dan the Dwarf, Master. <laughs> so then, lass, what do you want from me? Such typing. <laughs> Such type, but type, 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 type. <laughs> Sorry, my keyboard's really loud. It's a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's probably louder. Don't worry. I just like to feel important. <laughs> <laughs> the noise makes me seem important. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't be more important than Master. <laughs> Come on, little cat. Hmm? Yes. Oh. yes. There's got to be something you can yell at Monkey about. Imagine monkeys come back from a light, late night drinking. Oh. Always right. does. I, I won't <laughs> shout at him though. <laughs> no, this is this is legitimately the perfect situation for you to yell at him. Okay. All the frustration you've got on you, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a frustrated. I know you're not. Person. <laughs> no, just just play the character. You, just play the character. You, just play the character yourself. It'll be like you know, just yeah. he's drinking too much. You're annoyed with it. Perhaps he stumbled into you whilst he was drinking. Oh, what a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he 
knows me. He knows me already. <laughs> I am quite the boss. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got the stream in the other ear. Okay, yeah, that was possibly a bad idea. Oh yeah, mute that. Uh, <laughs> no. Ah, by my help. <laughs> <laughs> Mikashi, think he killed all your creatures in Minecraft and burned your house. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I role playing with here? <clears throat> I just swipe the drink away from you then? Ooh. Uh, you can make an attack action. Which would be uh, your base attack bonus plus dexterity. If you miss a dex, you're probably going to end up punching him straight in the face. Oh, that'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> right, you might, so what's the roll then? You might want to <clears throat> do it out. Uh, let's see. For our paladin, that is 1d20 plus 8. So... Roll. So slash roll, space, one d twenty. D twenty. Plus whatever it was. Eight. Plus eight. And it comes okay, to... monkey, make an opposed dexterity, please. That is one d twenty plus your dexterity modifier. My dexterity modifier is and dex. Ah, no, didn't mean to do that. Control Z, Control Z, Control. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just put it in the thing again. Stop doing that. I would have do fine, not freaking right. Okay. Dexterity. Um. Dexterity for which one? Hmm? Pardon? Which dexterity am I doing? Because there's a lot of dexterity in here. Oh, uh, you want the modifier one. Modifier, modifier. So over the end, it'll probably be like plus yeah. two, one or something. One, two, three, or four. On which uh, skill name? Dex. That's the thing, I've got loads of Dex here. Dex, 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 Dex. Oh, top. Top monkey, I think you're looking at the skills list. I am looking at the skills list. That might be why. Oh, there, <laughs> Dex. Total 13, base 13, modifier 1. Alright, so 1, I guess, yeah? Yep. Okay. 14. Okay, well, the Smother Paladin, <clears throat> short though she may be, manages to successfully swipe the drink out of your hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> down and one, down and Without, one. With down neither and word nor warning. I always enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> He precludes another one from his <laughs> Another drink! <laughs> I order another drink angrily because I've lost the first one. I give her some leeway as she seems short in stature. Then again, Out question. of interest, could uh, could we have seen this or could I have seen this? <clears throat> Roll spot checks. Baldrick and our uh, Victus fellow. Right, I'm just going to remember what my spot is. Baldrick may be strong, but he is not intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> So the same as the program then. So yeah, what do I do? D twenty plus my plus your spot modifier from 20 skills. Twenty three from skills. Skills spot. I don't know if I put any into spot. I didn't. <laughs> it's just a D twenty. <clears throat> You're focused on the drinks, which is fair. It's a D twenty plus one at least. Is it? Yeah. Okay. If you look at if you look at skill, it tallies it up. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't Where's a one. Eyeballs? I can't see me eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, as Baldrick is uh, just attempting to loosen the bolts on his helmet so that he can drink his next piece, uh, Victus whacks him uh, whacks him on the shoulder to point out the uh, the pair that are arguing near nearby: the tin can and the strange man in leather with the scimitar. Uh, yeah, as I do that, I just point. I just, I just point over there. And just snigger for a bit. <laughs> it's a good job it's not those two. 
Don't Patrick, you do see where he's pointing. We are looking for my friend. They <laughs> are indeed. <laughs> it's a good job. It's the. I, I imagine at this point the pallor just drains from Victor's <clears throat> face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Really? They are indeed those of the ones that my master Emmy Udro sent me to find. As such, I shall go over and make my acquaintance. Baldrick stumbles to get up. He's had quite a few. Just give me a. Sh uh, uh. <laughs> Massive, make a dexterity check. Can I can I assist him? I had the drink. You can assist his dexterity, yes. Yeah. With mine, I assume. Yep. One d twenty plus your dexterity. If you get more than ten, he gets a plus two to his. I've got a quite a lot of dexterity. Twenty two. Okay. So Baldrick, that is one d twenty plus two plus your dexterity. Wait, plus two plus my dexterity. Yes, because uh, Victor's gave you a hand there. Or attempted sense. to, by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we imagine this, right? Okay, so he gets up, he falls forward to the table. I just try to hold my hand out, grab him, and then he just rolls off of it. <laughs> ah. Baldrick, not wanting to appear defeated, starts crawling <laughs> towards the pair. <laughs> Hey, master, ever you <laughs> sent me to find you. This is perhaps a, a very interesting greeting for them to receive, as as you collided with the table upon <clears> your <throat> attempt to get up initially, uh, you did in fact send Victor's drink hurtling over towards them. <laughs> Into Monkey's outstretched hand. <laughs> Monkey, make ah, a dexterity. Thanks. <laughs> dexterity check, please, Monkey. Text check. Please, dear Lord, get a one. <laughs> so, uh, same, same roll I'm, again. I'm yeah? praying for a one. <laughs> same roll again, is it? Yeah. Uh, what that roll last time? It was. If you click up, it'll cycle through them. Oh, okay. Up. Oh. Hey, it does. There you go. Seven. Seven. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Odo, as you were attempting to uh, raise your hand to summon the bar, the uh, bartender, um. You feel a distinct moist sensation all across your entire upper body, and the sound of a of a glass shattering just ahead of you. Oh, my beard's wet itself again. <laughs> <laughs> you quickly realise that in fact someone has doused you in their ale, and turning towards the direction of where this strange substance came from, you see a towering full plate armour wearing giant. Crawling towards you along the floor. <laughs> what a sight! Boy, master, sent me to find you. Whoa! Who are farmer? Yeah. Hello, it's farmer. Becoming more farmer as we go on. You've got to forgive his native accent for coming out. <laughs> I am an agriculturalist. I am. <laughs> I'm cadet cow, and I go to agriculture school. <laughs> Would you like some <laughs> carrots and potatoes? It's almost a Welsh farmer there, mate. <laughs> carrots Come. and potatoes. <laughs> Would you like some carrots and potatoes? <laughs> That's Irish. It's <laughs> from, like, the mid-section of the UK, effectively. <laughs> Just isn't it? everywhere around there, boiled into one. <laughs> Uh, which, which roughly right. describes his lineage. <laughs> so, <laughs> this pint has been spilled all over me, and I see this uh, giant <laughs> stumbling across to me. over your face as well. And he said uh, that his master said him. So I would say, um, and your first thought was to throw a pint on me. Why am I sound like a pirate now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking like a pirate in your first introductory sentence. I'm not exactly That's sure fine. why. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You're a city druidic dwarf. I don't think you need to be speaking like a pirate. Oh, Although, granted, it probably wouldn't be too far off. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and you thought your first idea was to throw a pint on me. Baldrick climbs up onto the man, supporting him, supporting his weight on him, and goes, My master sent me to find you. His name is Ameudo. Never heard of him. What does he want? Oh, boy. you haven't heard of him, but heard of you, he has somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you seem a little bit past it, son. <laughs> 
Just a tad. <laughs> you will be joining us in a quest my new companion. And I'm a Udro, my master. No. <laughs> Dexterity check, monkey. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming I don't need to roll to see all this happening. Yes, you can 16. see all of this happening. Okay, you successfully managed to get your beard and every other part of you away from the splurge. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I would have thrilled him. <laughs> 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 She's gonna keep on following you while smiling up. <laughs> See, seeing this, Victor um, just sort of shakes, just puts his hand in his head and despairs for a second. Says, uh, and looks down at Eve and says, what, what have we got ourselves into, girl? He gets up and uh, she follows. And uh, he heads on over to this situation. That's one word for it. <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> okay, little cat, as you are just marvelling at this bizarre comedy happening in front of you with the, uh, the the man in leather with the scimitar and the towering giant full of plate armor. Um, a wolf, and apparently its next meal is walking towards you. Wait, what? You, what? <laughs> <laughs> a wolf and its next meal. Is that is just how I described you there. That's what it looks like to her. If anything, everyone else is his next meal. <laughs> yeah, why, why is his master? <laughs> oh, her master, his next meal. Because you're wearing mustard as a it's the It's the emergency food <laughs> supply. Mustard armor. It's the only reason I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, you're, you're her last resort. Armor. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> Have I arrived then, I'm assuming? Yes, Thanks. yes. Alright, so <laughs> I've got, I firmly got my gaze upon like the, the two, like the, the idiot on the floor. <laughs> and the absolutely out of his face dwarf, and <laughs> <laughs> so I know. I, hear it, hearing this, I snap, I snap, I snap my head up. Is uh, uh, ma'am, look, just let uh, I'll, I'll do. I'll talk to you in a minute. Let me just, just let me deal with these idiots first. Uh, he goes, he, he goes on over and just um, looks over at, um, the dwarf and says, uh, the, "The idiot, the idiot down here." <laughs> look, just come. Look, <coughs> all three of you, just come back to the table in the corner, and we'll discuss what we need to do. I, I'm the man with a plan sent from my master, uh, Udra Ame. His master sent him. <laughs> okay. Oh, follow you. What exactly? Look, come on, let's go over to the table. I'll discuss it with you there. Okay, so we all walk over the table. Okay. Well, three of you can walk well, over the table. Yeah, we pick. Uh, yeah. Cool. We no pick way. Like, the way over. No, no, Eve. Eve grabs yeah. grabs his uh, his boot and drags him. That's the better one. As yeah. much as possible, yeah. anyway. So the wolf has just grabbed the guy in plate armor's leg. Yeah. Yeah. And he's trying to pull him along. Can he? Well, Drake, how do you react to this situation? <laughs> he's I'm too drunk. Yeah. I'm scared. I've never trusted that wolf in the first place, and now it's trying to eat my foot. Uh 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 uh. <laughs> I'm going to attempt, severely impaired as I am, to scrabble away from it, going just as far backwards as I can, paying no no attention nor mind to anybody who is behind me. That's good, because backwards is the direction they want you to go. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm starting to walk away. I turn notice this, turn, I heard this noise, notice, turn around, and just notice he's just crawling towards me. In my mind, she's just pulling him. So, good job. <laughs> So, so I just continue. I just continue walking. Okay. The table is once is uh, soon set upon its legs once again, and people sit down around it. Okay. So everyone. Wolf over gets it. a treat yeah. for that. Baldrick should get a treat for that. <coughs> <laughs> you, you can have some pox scratchings. There you go. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> just don't ask where they got the pork. Pox scratchings. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So we're all around the table now, then. Yep. Okay. Um. <laughs> there, is a fresh, there is a fresh round arrayed in the centre of it, and a candle is, guessing, a candle is lit as the sun dims. They nice. probably bought me a water, or something much less strong than the ale that I was <clears throat> just drinking. Well, okay. this being a feudal, well, this being a roughly medieval civilization, the water isn't much better than the beer. Yeah, yeah, no, but it would probably be a weak beer or something. With me being sort of against um, 
report of uh, drinking too much. Am I allowed to drink? It isn't against your code. Right. Fair as long as you don't drink to excess. Yeah. <clears throat> Fair enough. Okay. Just like me. Uh, Victor's pushes. Uh, uh, as, as he takes his place in the corner, which is where he's comfortable, just lays back and just pushes the other his beer towards uh, the dwarf. He says, uh, "I do not. I, I do not drink, my friend. You can. Uh, you seem to be able to handle it. You can have. You can have it." <clears throat> Do I'm friends. Monkey, that's you. Oh, sorry. My brain just oh, no, it's not. <laughs> there it is. No, I pushed it towards Monkey. All right. Ah, thanks, mate. Oh. Drink. Right. As he does that, he lays back again. This is, uh... Baldrick, was it? Yes. You, tell... <laughs> you, have... you seem to have a way with words, he says sarcastically. <laughs> you, uh, you want to inform our two people here. I shall. Here. Friends, people, persons. My master, Ame Udra, has sent me to collect the people's party to take on monster living in the sewers. As such, I was given descriptions of your people and uh, rough crew drawings, and I have gathered you here. My master, Ame Udra, shall be joining us on the morrow. He is otherwise incapacitated today, <clears throat> and we shall we shall fight and loot and become rich people. Are you with me? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I feel like you might be role playing a little <laughs> too well, <laughs> since I'm pretty sure you just injured yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh man. <laughs> so hearing this, um Odo thinks about it and decides to help out. <laughs> as long as he gets another pint. <laughs> re hear it re all this. Uh which is just, um Okay, so if you're gathering us all together. How much of this is split between us? Why does your master get any of this? Being not, what's the rule I, here? My master says that it shall be an equal split. The equal split. The shares twenty-five percent each. As I am in service of my master, my percentage is shared with him. He, he, he pays me. <clears throat> But it is enough to get merry. Clearly. Which <laughs> 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 is no. just a, a little bit positive. Clearly, will you be coming with us on this? Yes, I shall. I am a squire to my master, Amiudra, the great, powerful sorcerer. He gestures wildly and widely. Not paying any attention to the patrons nearby. Some men have just lost some teeth. <laughs> some pints. <laughs> teeth, pints, limbs, it's all the same. It's all the same to Baldrick. <laughs> with, with that, he's, uh, he's, he's a little unsure and looks over at the other two com uh, compatriots. He's, uh, we obviously can't. This man, obviously, I'm pretty sure. No offense, Baldrick. I'm, you're not. You, I'm, I'm afraid you. Friends. We need. You're not going to be able to lead us. We need. We need to know. I need to know enough about you two. What can you bring to this fight? Because from what I've heard, is if we are going to face this, this troll is. I've been heard this troll is quite formidable. Baldrick stands up, finds the nearest person to him and just punches them full straight out as hard as he can. Okay, well I'm going to rule that you catch them flat-footed and unawares, <clears> so <throat> roll damage. Is there any way I can roll to, to help stop this? <laughs> <laughs> you asked me what I can bring to the table, I'm just showing you. I yeah, can is there any out. way I can roll to, is there anything I can roll to react to this, <laughs> or is it just too, too instantaneous? Uh, 